we're back checking out more alt path. In case you missed it, some common questions. Who is this character? This is um, Tormented Isaac. What's up with the inventory? He can only hold eight items simultaneously. What are you trying to do? Beat the game. There you go. The three most common questions answered right at the top of a video. This is not your average YouTube video where you Google, you know, how to do a, an outline in Photoshop and then it starts with this uh, 3D art coming in off the side of the screen. Tilted Gamer 913. What's up everybody? Thanks so much for all the likes on my last tutorial. How to click the record button for saved actions in Photoshop today over the course of this 45 minute tutorial. We're going to give you uh, a, a very brief and easy way for you to create a one pixel white stroke in, um, why not, in, uh, in Photoshop. But first, if you could go check out my, uh, my Gleam campaign, if you, if you could go like my post on uh, Instagram. We got a new tutorial up for the patrons, how to enter your credit card number into Patreon. If you're a, if you're a patron, you get access to that tutorial 24 hours before the YouTube audience. You already know the vibes. Well, I mean, of these, pretty easy choice. I don't want to disrespect Abel, but we're gonna we're gonna try some different stuff. Six keys already too. I'm familiar with the YouTube game. You know, I was watching YouTube the other day, and there was like, um... So the thumbnail, I'm not gonna lie, it caught my eye. It said, Big Ed takes another L. And little did I know when I clicked on the video, I would actually be introduced to a completely new genre of uh, YouTube video. <laughs> EVP Tom, thank you again. Um, it was... Clips of the character slash real person, Big Ed from 90 Day Fiance, with commentary as well about like how much he's screwing up or whatever. Uh, but it was interspersed with this guy making uh, Big Ed characters in any game ever made that allows you to do custom character creation and then like showing him like and look at big ed like he's taking a fall in tony hawk's pro skater 5 just like he took a fall on 90 day fiance and like the video had like like over a million views i was losing my mind i was like this guy is like he's 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 found like spider-man and elsa for gamers like it's just it's algorithm rocket fuel I was impressed. I wouldn't say entertained, no, because it was... I mean, it was us! I mean, I watch 90 Day Fiance and I, like, make fun of the people on it in my head. And occasionally on stream, I'll, you know, maybe go a step too far and then feel bad about it. But he was like, you know, this guy's such a freaking loser. And I was like, oh my god. This guy's... He's out of his mind. He's, go he's going too hard. Hey! Too far. Be that as it may. <laughs> what are your thoughts on Jovi from 90 Day Fiance? You know. Uh, not positive. <laughs> Maybe they'll leave it at that. Seems, you know... Not not ready, um, not not taking uh, his pregnancy seriously. Let's put it that way, or his his fiance's pregnancy. But I haven't seen that much of this season. I'm just like every time they show a clip of Jovi, he's like, I'm at the doctor, and he's holding like a Bud Light in his hand at the doctor, and I'm like, dude, come on. Just for like two seconds, did you get like a water or something? This is serious. Okay, we we love a tears upgrade. Nail only gives half a spirit heart, but it's a nice damage boost. At the same time, being able to fly is also quite nice. I think I will take the nail, though. And then on this side, I think I take nothing. I 
I think that's the play. Oh yeah, it's, it's been nerfed, but you know, I mean, half a spirit heart is still, especially if you're trying to go alt path, I really think that people are underrating the, the value of HP even still. And you, you're gonna make me be a shill again, but I'm like, dude, honestly, the, um, any item that generated a guaranteed spirit heart or demon heart in six charges was actually an instant win before. Uh, that was a weird one. So I, I wouldn't, I don't want to say it's a nerf that's got me excited because I do wish that I had that extra cushion, but they were very strong. Oh, hello. It's, uh, it looks cute to me. The first blue outfit of the baby's life. Hello, baby. Hey. Ooh. Welcome, baby. Blue baby. It's it's perfect. It's Isaac themed. <laughs> there you go. Baby, they're not making fun of you. It's a reverential tribute. Ahem. Plus we can step, right? I'm trying to think. Thoughts on banana pudding. What do you think, Kate? Thoughts on banana pudding? Yeah, same. I've said it before, I don't think I've really consumed much pudding in my life to begin with. I wouldn't say I've consumed zero, but I think I've, I've consumed close to zero pudding in my entire life. Every time I say it, people go like, no, you haven't. And I'm like, I, you know, like when you're a kid, what goes in your lunch is just like what your mom or dad decides to put in your lunch, right? They never put snack packs in my lunch. Ergo, I never, uh, I never uh, experienced pudding until, you know, maybe I've had it for a dessert when I got a little older, but. Mm. Right, yeah. And they're like, oh, this is delicious, this chocolate pudding. And I thought, I know chocolate. Right, yeah. I thought it tastes like chocolate. So I'm like, oh, okay, okay. And then, like, I try some. And it does not taste like your know, typical chocolate from chocolate bar. Right, it's okay. Kind of, like, more creamy. And I thought, like, this, these people are weird. What do you mean, these people? <laughs> it's your own, your own classmate brought it in. Oh, I see. I mean, it is weird to bring in a chocolate pudding for the whole class to share. Well, the whole class to share because my friend just shared one. So she's like, oh, in Korea, you don't have this? And she thought it would be like a new bringing to this Korean Mmm, I see. I thought she brought in like an, an industrial vat of... Uh, no, I mean, it sounds like it's gross either way. I don't know why I'm, I'm getting painted as the bad guy in this situation. You already said it. The first thing you said when you described it is a big tub of the S word. Which, by the way, we're trying to not swear so much so we don't get demonetized on YouTube. No, that's Mathis. He doesn't know what he's talking about. <laughs> No, it, they, all it, these YouTubers, they join like, you know, these YouTuber discords and then like somebody hears a rumor that's like, it's only the first 30 seconds. And then they say it in a video and then all the other YouTubers go like, they must be true. That guy said it in the video. Um, okay, hold on. We're taking HP, of course. And then all the users get the same thing. The users are like, well, that YouTuber said it in a video, so it must be true. And I'm like, that's source dude. Just trust me. It might be true, though. I don't know. Ahem. Mm. Oh, baby. Cucumber. And beef rice. Goodbye, baby. I gotta tell you, I, I think I said this yesterday. Might be repeating myself. 
cucumber? It's one of my favorite vegetables. I know that it, people are like, it just tastes like water. And I'm like, yeah. I mean, we've been through this uh, road before, but like, I, I enjoy water. No nutrition? Oh, do you normally pick your favorite food based on its like, you know, composition of phytonutrients? I don't think so. You probably pick pizza like everybody else. I just like, I like the texture, man. The texture, like a, a cooked cucumber? No, thank you. But like a raw cucumber? It's delicious. I think we're always going to want to buy spirit hearts. Is crunchy water? Yeah, is why it's deli It's refreshing. Okay, we do want key piece. This run could go all the way. I do, um, I prefer cucumber to zucchini, which is like, again, it's a little bit controversial. But I think it's just like I ate so much cucumber before I ate zucchini for the first time. That like, zucchini tastes like it's covering cucumber to me. Like, it's trying to be like, hey, I was inspired by Cucumber, I wrote a little song for you. And I'm like, it's okay, but it doesn't hold a candle to the original. Cucumber sandwich? Not so much. No, not so much. There we go. I knew it was around here. What are you talking- it's just- uh, I mean, I'm getting baited probably, but what do you mean they're completely different? Look at them. Are you- are you kidding me? <laughs> what are you talking about? It's the same- it's the same vegetable, man. They- they taste a little different, for sure. And, uh... Zucchini, much better at being cooked. Cucumber does not respond well to heat, it's kind of like me. But apart from that, they're the same vegetable. I, I will say you could, I, I, unlike the Coke Pepsi thing, I honestly think that the average person who's consumed a lot of both would have like a, I would say a 90% chance to differentiate them if they did a blind taste test. So I'll give you that. I don't disagree on that. 100%? No. The people would get it wrong. You ever see like Hell's Kitchen? Like sometimes they, they feed these people that have worked in kitchens like their whole lives. They feed them garlic when they're blindfolded and go like, hey, what is that flavor? And like two thirds of them are like, that's garlic, chef. And then like one third of them are like, I think it's ginger. And you're like, like you're a chef and you don't know what garlic tastes like? And you're like, Hell's Kitchen is the good show. Like Hell's, Hell's Kitchen is the one for the chefs that actually know how to cook. They are, you know, they're not always sending their best, but it's better than Kitchen Nightmares. Chef, is that chicken and banana? Have you gone mad? I did a blind taste test with a friend and I couldn't identify strawberries. I mean, I honestly am of the opinion that like a blind taste test is is hard. That's why like I want to do them more on the on the stream. Like if if oh by the way, thank you for the DNA raid equals face bracket. Like I I would love to do a blind taste test cuz I think that people are overconfident in their ability to identify foods. Strawberry, I will say, I'm like, you know, come on. But <laughs> but maybe, who knows, maybe I'm overconfident in my ability to identify strawberry as well. It seems like it should be a pretty obvious one, but... Okay, here you go. We're, we're taking... The spirit heart is nice, but I mean, when you take damage, you gotta take damage. There are some foods I don't doubt that I could identify with near 100%. I'm telling you, Coke and Pepsi, like, I know, I mean, I, I guess what I would say is, like, I, I just disbelieve people sometimes. Like, when people are, like, 100%, I could tell the difference between Coke and Pepsi. I'm like, okay, then let's, you know, 
Very simple case. Let's go down to the grocery store for two bucks, you know, and, and a blindfold. We can, we can test this empirically for ourselves. I don't think... If you gave me a 100%... Like, one... Let me... Like, 100 sample size Coke versus Pepsi challenge, I do not believe that I would produce a statistically compelling case that I could identify Coke versus Pepsi. I think it would be indistinguishable from, like, a coin flip for me. It's true, I guess you don't need much of a blindfold. They do, they do look pretty similar. <laughs> They're so different. I don't know, man, I'm like... You know, I kind of feel... <laughs> this is like I'm gonna take a, a, a page out of Dan's book and be like, you know... Check me at Y or N. Do you think realistically you could do the Pepsi challenge? And I'm not talking about a one-off. I'm talking about like... You know, if I gave it to you 20 times. I don't expect you would go 20 out of 20. But do you think you could do like 18 out of 20? Yo, oh my pancake. Thank you for the gifted subscriptions. No, any anybody saying 20 out of 20? Like I actually just... That says more about you as a, like, on a psychological level than it does about your ability to taste. That is a person... If, if I'm doing a job interview and I ask this question and you say 20 out of 20, I'm not hiring you to be an actuary, let's put it that way. Maybe you can man the cash register. I am an actuary? Then you should not be saying 20 out of 20. You, you know about probabilities. Yeah, exactly. Haywood would get 20 out of 20. That's why he's stocking the shelf. I, I think I would get like... I bet I would get more than 50%. But, you know, the barrier to actually producing a convincing result is much higher than, you know, 50%. <laughs> I don't know. I, I feel like, uh, I feel like people are overconfident. I mean, I'm, I might be wrong. I just feel like people are overconfident in it. I definitely feel like if you went, uh, with a vegetable taste test, like, the average person would get way more wrong than they think. And I'm not even talking about like like lettuce and and kale. I'm talking about like you know like radish versus apple. <laughs> I'm just I, I'm I plan like we we don't have the space here, but like I would love to to do a stream where I like uh, actually do a blind taste test. I'm not afraid to put my pride on the line. I'm unconfident about my ability to do as well as people might think in a blind taste test. Simply because I've, I've, like, I've watched so many Good Mythical Morning episodes where, you know, they're like, oh, I think this is like a grape. And they're like, that's not a grape, that's a cherry tomato. I think when you don't have access to your eyes, it's like way harder than you'd think. The Pepsi challenge isn't even close. I drink like... Like a diet coke. That's that sucked pretty bad. I drink like a diet coke every two weeks. I have no. I don't. I can't remember the last time I had a Pepsi on purpose. Okay. I don't know, man. I. I would be interested, that's all I'm saying. I'm not saying you're wrong, necessarily, because it's equally fallacious, I would say, to assume that, you know, I know how you would respond to the taste of these two foods, you know? You might, you know, be the, you know, the CEO's son or something like that. Maybe you're drinking so much cola every day, you've got the most refined palate of all time. Okay, we can dump HP. Any HP. We got Roid Rage. I can live with that for the time being. But I think my my hypothesis on this at least 
is that the average person is more... They would do... Let me rephrase, because I want this to be highly specific. My hypothesis is the average person would underperform on a blind taste test relative to what they would anticipate they would get. That's my hunch. I believe the average person would would think they were better at a blind taste test than they are. Now, they might do better at the blind taste test than I think they would do, but I think they would do... That was bad timing there, but I think they would do worse than they expect to do. Like, I, just knowing that Dan came in and said, said why for the Pepsi challenge, I'm like, I want him to do the Pepsi challenge. Like, do it, do it on stream. I trust Dan, by the way. Like, I don't need an arbiter to be there. I don't think he would be the kind of person that would be like, you know, we're gonna, like, cheat the system. Um... I just want to see him do it. Oh, this was unfortunate. I'm trying to think about like how I how I feel about a restock. And I'm not sure how I feel about it. I know it's been nerfed. But I don't know how nerfed it's been. You're right, you know, we can get rid of matchbook just to hold restock for the future. That's a good point. See, that's good backseating. Okay, I'm just trying to think. Are we... We've already picked that up, right? Yes, it was not good. It was a snack! We did not pick it up! I was wrong, okay. And we're heading down to the next floor. Saved, saved, saved. Did we go to our item room? Maybe not, I don't know. It was Roid Rage? What the heck's happening? It was, that was your old snack? Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I was talking about the Pepsi challenge. We did, okay, I've been in this room like 10 times. That's the old bandage now. Or the, yeah, 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 super bandage. All right. I got it. What was the last boss? That's an unfair question because I don't know the names of any of these uh, bosses right now. I'm a fool. Okay, take me down. Yeah, Rock Larry Jr. Or the Rock Diagonal Flying Guy. But I don't I never knew the Diagonal Flying Guy his name to begin with. So again, that, that doesn't say that much. It's Jerry Lunier. George Glass. No blister, please. What's the last boss's birthday? I couldn't tell you unless you told me what Adam Sandler movie is their favorite. In which case, I could uh, I could figure it out. Like the other thing, I like if my my dream style of of non content is uh, not just a blind taste test, but like self reporting what I believe my favorite fast food chicken nuggets are. And then taking a blind taste test of every fast food chain's chicken nuggets and seeing if my actual perception lines up with my experience. Okay, now now we're cruising. Like, I'm not afraid to find out that my brain has been lying to itself. I think that I prefer McDonald's chicken nuggets to Burger King chicken nuggets. But you know, when I taste them and when I when I dip them in a sauce, maybe maybe it'll activate di different sections of my brain, you know? Am I actually, you know, experiencing the flavor when I think of what my favorite chicken nugget is? Or am I just telling myself like I'm recalling that I said McDonald's chicken nuggets are my favorite, so I got to that's what that's my answer.
I gotta be honest with you, Tech X uh, damage, nothing to write home about just yet. My grandma's homemade chicken nuggets are the best. Like, I'm, I'm just gonna be honest with you, I doubt it. Like, if, if I put your grandma's chicken nuggets up against McDonald's chicken nuggets, I bet I would prefer the McDonald's chicken nuggets. Even having not tasted your grandma's, I'm, I'm willing to take a take that bet, for sure. Yo, this is pretty sick. Okay, we, we got a heck of a run here. We can also suck up all the passives we don't want for actives, which is incredible. Oh no, his, his, his grandma's grimace. No! No! I don't know, like, to be honest... There's homemade food that tastes better than store-bought food. No doubt about it. However... There's some things where I'm like, you know, if you want chicken nuggets... I don't- I don't want my- my grandma to be like dredging chicken thighs in- in flour and putting them in the deep fryer and stuff like that. I just- I want the paste, man. Just give me the paste. Sometimes you just want the paste. It's the same with burgers, you know? Like, every once in a while a homemade burger, for sure, it hits the spot. But sometimes you're like, I just want like a- a-, a beef patty that's like as thin as a fingernail and I, I want like whatever the McDonald's seasoning package is you can make the paste at home with the food processor I honestly don't know if I have the stomach don't you have to put like beaks in there This is not a bad faith bit. I, I take the the fake uh, concern trolling as bad faith, quite honestly. People are like, is he okay? Sometimes you want a homemade burger. Sometimes you want like a like the fast food garbage. They occupy two different spots on the star chart for food. Could a boomer do that? I don't think so. Chat's all like, when I grow up, I'll never eat fast food. Bro, let me tell you like a dirty little secret about adulthood. When you grow up, based on like just like the US census, like, I mean, there's adults I know that eat fast food like six times a week. If anything, you're probably going to eat it more because you, <laughs> you got things going on in your life that suck up more time. <laughs> I'm not saying you should. In fact, I'm saying you shouldn't. But it does happen. That's just, you just gotta accept that. You just gotta take that one. Yeah, don't be rude to Apollo. He doesn't eat fast food. There's, and this, it might sound like I'm being, I'm trying to make a joke at your expense, Apollo. There is a difference between delivery and fast food. You can get a little bit of both. Obviously, the delivery food is probably not as healthy as the homemade version. But, the, you know, there's a difference between, like, getting an acai bowl and getting, like, a, you know, a, a Big Mac. I'm saying I know people that go through the drive through like, six times a week. Okay, hold on. Yeah, yeah, suck it up. Now we're talking. Buy the battery charge. Apollo, I appreciate you being the guardian of chat, by the way. Always enjoy having more streamers in here. It just, I feel like it's kindred spirits. <laughs> the higher, one streamer being in the chat, like, yeah, thank you as, as well, Jay. One one verified streamer at the chat actually provides like a thousand viewers worth of desalination. 
So we got we got Dan, Jay, and Apollo. At least at, at temporarily they they've been here. We need six or six, we need eight more streamers. You know it's a quality problem to have, I suppose. I think we want actives. I think we want unlimited actives. <clears throat> My nearest McDonald's is 50 kilometers away. Okay, that's, look, acceptable. But all I'm gonna say is I'm, if I go through your chat history, and inside of your chat history is a bunch of comments like, I never eat fast food, then 24-hour ban, permanent. Because you gotta bake that part into the, you know, assumption. If you don't, if you don't have the means to, to travel, like, on your own, you know, go to a restaurant or something like that, and you're like, I never eat fast food, it's not that hard. I'm like, you know. Still spiky? Spiky don't likey? I'm like, yeah, if you gotta ask your mom to drive you to Wendy's, you're probably not gonna go to Wendy's as often as if you've only got yourself to blame. There's no fast food places in your town? Honestly, that's pretty sick. I mean, like, I'm... I would prefer if there were some fast food places in my town. But the idea that you live in a place that has no fast food whatsoever is kind of... It's interesting to me. Was this... Was this by design from the town? Like, did they... Did they institute some kind of policy or something? Oh my god. Plan C is going to screw this whole thing up for us, huh? Because I can't suck up all these items now that I got Plan C. Uh, I've decided I'll keep Tech X. <laughs> Hold on. And probably keep the Nun's Habit as well. At this point, where are we? G Gahana 1. I don't mind getting rid of the, the steam or uh, restock for now to hold Nun's Habit because we do generate spirit hearts off of it. Okay. Plan C got buffed. Yeah, it's, you know, uh, it's one of these days, you know? Like on a, on a low impact run, sure. This one, it's a little spice. Plus, like, just because things are uh, better now doesn't mean they're not still trash you know like the new rebecca black friday remix the hyper pop version like it's better than the original friday it's still really bad it, it recently got buffed but it still sucks like a big in a big way Yeah, new Justice League just got buffed. I mean, I got nothing. Look, I'm not. If, if you, I feel like we should be more optimistic about. Um, dude, what if we just suck up the items? Like that's so risky. But hear me out. I I think we should be more positive about uh, the Justice League. The man's a genius. Because, and I just give it a moment here. Nobody really liked the first version of the Justice League. They had a chance to get up in the undercarriage. They got up in the undercarriage. What happened? They made a better version. Everybody should be stoked. I don't it's not my cup of tea, but I think it's still cool that they got to they got to make the movie they were going to see or they wanted to see, I should say. I don't need to dunk on it. I mean, it is four hours long. Like, I can't do more damage to the community than they've already done to themselves just by watching it. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Um, I 
You know what I mean. I'm trying to delete it. Frickin' Monday, baby. Frickin' Steak Monday. Zack Monday, baby. Frickin' Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman. Cyborg Monday, baby. Frick yeah. A tears upgrade or a tears upgrade? I choose to take a tears upgrade. Um, Nun's habit is really good, dude. We could get rid of the speed range. Okay, headed down to the next floor. I did see that there was a... Uh, there's a 20-hour cut of uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Like, that's a little absurd. Again, like, you know, y you like what you like. I, I enjoyed Once Upon a Time in Hollywood the first time I saw it. And then it had to sit with me a little longer until I realized that I actually liked it quite a bit. First, I was like, it's kind of like, it's a fun slice of life. But I don't really understand, like, what's the point? Then I watched it again on HBO, like, six months later. And I was like, you know what? I actually think I like this movie a lot. The movie's just like a vibe. And then, like, some sla slapstick at the end. But, uh... 20 hours? No thank you. Like, I think I've, about three hours of it was enough for me. Two times. <laughs> I want to do... Just suck up all these items. Do you think the dearth of film releases in the uh, last 16 months has been noticeable? Depends what you mean, I suppose. Noticeable, yeah. Like in the sense that, uh, like I've noticed. Like, does, has it had like a demonstrably negative effect on my life? No, not really, I think. I think, because the thing is, like, it's, it's gonna, like, pay dividends. Speed down, huh? It's gonna pay dividends uh, later. Because all these movies, it's not like they go bad. Unless, I don't know, it, it would be funny in, in some way, at least. Uh, it, and not in others. If a movie had, like, taken so long to come out, it had actually aged poorly by the time it was released. Not just in terms of CGI, but in, in terms of the, you know, cultural norms. Like, I imagine if you were making a, a, a comedy movie about some kind of, like, an infectious disease, a admittedly kind of a, a unlikely uh, film, but I imagine probably it's not in a great spot for you right now. You're like, ooh, <laughs> just gonna wait wait for this all to blow over so that my, uh, <laughs> my gross-out pandemic comedy comes out in the right kind of climate. Okay, well, I mean, like, Blanket's pretty sick. Even just to get the spirit hearts for now. And then, Converter's pretty good, but I don't want to suck it up. I want to buy it. Oh, we don't have any money. I would have, but I didn't have any money. I mean, I think that the Nun's Habit is of extreme importance. I'll, I'll give up a little play there, and then suck this up like so. Then get another battery charge. And then buy this. Yeah. Ouch. Are you gonna read Dr. Disrespect's um, autobiography? Don't be ridiculous. It's 2021. I'm gonna get it on Audible. Who reads? <laughs> Stupid. It's a dumb question. Oh no. You, and you see the message deleted, message deleted, message deleted. <laughs> I just think it's funny. Hold on. 
permit card? No, thank you. I'm really looking for some batteries. I've taken some bad damage. No question about that. Yeah, Mubad's doing the Lord's work. There it goes. Yeah, I, I have an internal Bluetooth headset. Uh, when I met Elon at the filming of Joe Rogan's podcast, he, he hit me with a brain uh, implant on the house. It's pretty it's shocked me a couple of times, but for the most part, it's been pretty good. Um, and one of the big things about it is that it uh, converts everything I read into text to speech in my head. So it's uh, that's that's why I'm like, I just wish chat would slow down because it's, it's actually like I feel like Professor Xavier right now in more ways than one. Check this out. They, they won't teach you this at Jay's channel. Okay, this is Mausoleum Mom, right? Fighting the boss. Mom in the mausoleum. What's the other reason? One reason is obvious, bald. The other reason is... Um, that if you haven't seen the X-Men movies in a while, Professor Xavier builds a machine called Cerebro that uh, amplifies the thoughts of people in the real world so he can search for them and find more mutants for his mutant academy. And and that's how I feel right now with the text, the Elon's text-to-speech neuro-link going on in my brain right now. Is it really called that? Have you not seen X-Men? I mean, you should watch X... X-Men and X2. Like those are those are really good movies. I mean, by superhero standards at least. X3? No, you don't is it's so easy, dude. You watch it's called the Machete Order, okay? You watch X-Men, X2, skip X3 the last stand. It's a complete piece of garbage. Um watch X-Men First Class. Watch Days of Future Past, skip X-Men Apocalypse, and skip Dark Phoenix. There you go. The Machete Order. And Logan? Yeah, okay, watch Logan. Logan's really good. And then you can you can also watch Deadpool 1 and 2, but, but not X-Men Origins Wolverine. Dude, this is not so hard. Like... Get me out. <laughs> but you, I had the right idea, you gotta admit. What the, what the heck is that, dude? I'm, I'm sweating. Papa technology, now I'm sweating. We have so many tiers upgrades, something's gotta give, okay? We either get rid of a tiers upgrade, because I'm not using my maximum rate of fire anyway. Or... We use our maximum rate of fire. Those those are our two options. I don't think we should be tap shooting, to be clear, but I think we should shoot a little faster. There was a tinted rock in this room? Okay. You know what? You're absolutely right. Thank you. That's quality backseating. It's even a double tinted rock. Easy choice. Okay. Now... We can't get rid of Nun's Habit. I actually think we get rid of one of our tiers upgrades. Nun's Habit is, is pretty valuable for us right now. Get rid of the mulligan? You're crazy, man. You're, you're freaking crazy. I love you, but you're crazy. You're not wrong. Shots, shot speed down might be a positive for us. Maybe we get rid of the screw instead. I think it's worth giving it a try. Or the soap for that matter. Ooh. 
Old school from 2003. It's true. Speaking of movies that haven't aged well. That being said, I, I refuse to be taken to task for enjoying the movie old school. I saw it in theaters when I was 13 years old and I laughed. Like, blame the adults who made the movie. It's not my fault it's baked into my nostalgia as hilarious. Okay, hold on. Ser does Serpent's Kiss still generate demon hearts? It doesn't spawn demon hearts anymore. What? Okay, I'm giving up another tears plus shot speed just to take the stapler. Only if you do contact damage. F. Heavy F energy. Plus 0 0.83 damage. I gotta be honest with you, you got me rethinking this. But I, I do feel like our damage has improved, but these might just be weaker enemies. It, you're, you're not wrong. The guy who directed Old School did also direct Joker. I actually saw... <laughs> I saw the uh, the last 20 minutes of Joker on TV today when I was, you know, hanging out with the baby. And I was watching, you know, the scene where, uh, you know, he's at the late night show. And I was like, oh, you know, that I didn't really like Joker that much, but he's like chewing up scenery. And, you know, it's kind of fun to watch at least. And then he was like, uh, yo, what do you get when you cross a uh, mentally ill loner with a society? And I was like, oh, right. Uh, uh, change the channel really quick. Can we put on Bloomberg News real quick? He's done it. <laughs> look away, look away. Hmm. It reminds me of when I saw Joker with my friend. We missed the first hour. Uh, you know, I wouldn't say you missed it. You know, like in... Um the first Naked Gun movie, where, like, O.J. Simpson, uh, who was unproblematic at the time, uh, tries to raid the drug deal, but instead he just constantly ends up, like, Pratt falling backwards, like, and then he puts his hand on, like, wet paint, and he's like, ah, and then he, like, steps on a mousetrap. That's basically what the first hour of Joker is like, except with, like, hurt feelings. It's like, he's like, ah, uh, love me, and then people are like, ooh, no, lol, wait, you were serious? There, I just, I saved you 60 minutes. I gotta see this now. <laughs> hey, man, look, I'm not super, like, anti-Joker, like... Mostly because I'm anti-Joker, but like a lot of people really loved it, and I know what's good for me. I don't want to cause any problems for myself. You know, I already got enough going on with the backseating, as previously mentioned. Um, but if you're talking about the Naked Gun, yeah, you should see the the Naked Gun. Like that's a great movie. I do need to uh, point out it does hypothetically star a murderer. But OJ's not in it like that much. He's he's pretty important for the start of it, but then quickly you will realize why his role is diminished later in the film. Allegedly. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Allegedly. He was proven innocent? Well, I mean, that's not how court works. You know. He wasn't proven guilty criminally, but he was held civilly liable, which is kind of like, you know. <laughs> it's like, we can't quite pin it on you, but if it were up to me, you'd be taking the rap for this one. No, OJ's lawyer is not on the phone, because Johnny Cochran died, like, 15 years ago. Hmm. 
mean, I don't know enough about the OJ trial to like comment on it, but I, you know. I mean, what can I say, dude? Dude, what can I do? The glove didn't fit, dude. What am I supposed to do? The, you heard him. <laughs> Let me out! It was the inspiration for the Chewbacca defense. Yes, correct. Hey, NL, I think my parakeet might be obsessed with you. Why are you so obsessed with me? Constantly texting me. Plus, sure, you're a parakeet. Corpse XL. This sucks really bad. We're going to die. On the other hand, maybe that's what it takes to truly know what it means to live. Damn it, damn it. Didn't ask. Didn't ask. Didn't ask. I felt like I was in like a zero G turn there. Just shoot him! That was intense, man. HP! You gotta give me HP! <laughs> okay, one heart, final boss. Definitely not where you want to be. So we're going to try to get some HP. It's a bit of a cursed situation for sure. Boom, boom, boom. I don't know what we get out of that, but six luck, baby. Dunk, da, dunk, dunk, dunk. You sucked up the nail earlier? Yeah, I know. It's kind of, it's kind of a dominant theme of the Monday, baby. Monday, freaking steak, baby. Yeah, frick yeah. Monday, baby. Freaking Monday, yeah. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. I think Apollo getting his haircut actually killed him. Apollo, would you like to? Um, would you like to uh, say the, the very famous Mark Twain quote, the rumors of my demise are, are greatly exaggerated, or should I do it? It's not till Wednesday? See, Chad, what, what are you trying to do here? What are you trying to pull? What's your, what's your game? No, I think like this variant character is a lot of fun right now. The, like, the, it's hard, but like it's hard because I'm doing the alt path like a freaking dummy. Like, as always, I'm like, oh, I gotta, hey, I got a good run. Let's, like, risk everything. And then I die, and I'm like, oh, what the? Wednesday, Wednesday baby. Wednesday. Effing haircut, bud. Woo, Wednesday. F yeah. We, we, any day, make it your day. F, man, yeah. Also, Mark Twain didn't say that? How do you know? Your, your name is not Tom Sawyer. Baby? Yeah? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yo, I, can I get a effing ribeye, mashed potatoes, salt and pepper, green beans? Yes, sir. Can't forget the day. Effing Monday. Yes, sir. You already know the vibes. Ooh, ooh papa, steak, steak. Ooh, ooh papa. Hold on, we got one last thing we can try to do here. Why have steak on an effing Monday, mate, when the earth will do it for you, mate? Somebody linked me to another, um, another good video. It's another sausage-themed barbecue video where, um, the guy's cooking sausage. And then the guy filming the video goes like, It's, it's frickin' upside down! And then the guy goes, he gets so mad, he gets, like, he puffs up his chest and everything, and goes like, How can this sausage be upside down, you bloody idiot? Pretty good one. Anyway. You know what, we'll take this pill in, just in case. Ooh, Papa. Yes, yes. Then the other do it for you, mate. 
I, I have seen the video where the guy eats the wasp's nest. I haven't thought about that one for a while. No! We, we talked about that one on a stream when it was contemporaneous. You know, I also watched the full video today of um, you're flat, you got no talent, etc, etc. It's so good. How does the, the, the angry man maintain such an unbelievable string of dialogue improvisationally? Like, the things that he says are, are of staggering, like, I wouldn't say merit, but just the construction of the sentence is so impressive. He's like, you're not an artist. You got no respect. A real artist. I mean, let's be honest. We were toasted. But he's like, a real artist has respect for the silence that serves as the foundation of creativity. And I'm like, this guy is like losing his mind. He's so angry, but it's provided him with like laser focus for what he's saying. It's, it's insane. He's like, I'm an NYU film school graduate. San Francisco Academy of Arts. I watched Bob Dylan. I walked him out on stage in 1975. Who are you? You're everything wrong with society. You got no talent. If you got talent, go, go rent a studio and practice. It's like, it's, it's madness, man. Yo, thank you. Thank you for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. Why do you sound so much like him? I don't know, man. It's, I just watched the video. It's one of the most important pieces of architecture in North America. Okay. Um, did, I, did I slash 